It had been a busy morning on the island of Sodor, and Thomas the Tank Engine had just got back from his adventure all around the world, and he was very happy indeed. A bit too happy when Thomas posted to his friends. Oh, hello Thomas, nice to see you. Hello Percy, I know, it is good to be back, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... Oh boy, have you seen Nia? Because let me tell you, she is quite an engine. I wonder if she'll be sleeping with us at Tip the Sheds one day. Yeah. Oh, that would be such a treat. At the next station, it was Gordon and Henry's turn to be posted by Thomas. Hello, slow coaches. You two should really meet Rebecca one day. Well, we do see her sometimes on the mainland, so... She is quite a fun engine, too, when I went around the world with her. And I even helped oh, her out to stop properly at a station to avoid any confusion and delay. And Thomas kept on boasting about his adventure throughout the whole day. Hello, Edward. Have you heard of Nia? Uh, yes, Thomas. Although I do not trust her one bit. Really? How come? Uh oh. Never mind. Hello, ladies. You two should really spend time with me, Rebecca. And even Ashima. How long has this been going on? Ever since Thomas finally went around the world. Oh, I see. And it wasn't just Thomas' friends that were getting tired of Thomas' chattering. Even his passengers held their ears. That night, Thomas finally quieted down about his adventure and was very tired as he popped back to Tinder Sheds. But when Thomas got to the turntable, he was surprised to see his friends blocking his way, glaring at him and even wishing some steam at him. Keep out! Now, 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 what is going on? You is what's going on, little Thomas! Ever since you went around the world, you never stopped talking about it. I had a feeling as well that you may like Nia more than me, your own best friend. I even seen some people complain to the fat controller for how much you annoyed them on your branch line. Sir Thomas, we kindly want to ask you to please leave and sleep somewhere else. Thomas was most surprised. He had never seen his friends turn on him like that before. Well, if that's what you want, that's fine by me. So Thomas sadly went away to sleep somewhere else, as his friends kept glaring at him until he was gone. Soon, Thomas had finally found a pet shed to sleep at. Next to Philip. Hello Thomas, I didn't expect you to sleep with me tonight. Say, where's Edward? Well, Edward's sleeping at Tidmouth Sheds now and- Oh, that's okay. At least I've got you to sleep with. Yes, I know. Uh, now I do need to get some sleep. But Thomas, I have a lot to talk about. Like, guess how many trucks I shut today? Seriously, there were a lot of trucks around the yard, and I was just on it like zoom and weesh! Well, I didn't really get Now Thomas can understand, understand how it feels to be posted by someone else. And even on the next morning, Philip just kept on talking and talking and talking. And that's how we managed to escape that bully Vinny back in the Great Railway Show! Yes, Philip, I know. I was there, remember? Now then, as you excuse me, uh, I have a job to do. Oh, yes, of course. Y you have a branch line, after all. As Thomas went along the line with Andy and Clover, he felt very tired from Philip's chattering. He was so tired, he was about to run into some trouble. Oh no, Thomas, stop! You went past the station! Oh, Thomas slammed on his brakes so hard that his coach went bumping into him. His passengers were not very happy at all. Oops, sorry. 
And to make things worse, James was watching him all this time when Thomas put back into the station. Oh dear Thomas, it seems your big world adventure has gone into your smoke box this time. <laughs> Thomas felt sad. Then, something inside him made him snap. Thomas was furious. That night, Thomas went back to Tinder Shed, but instead of his friends glaring at him, they were laughing. Oh look everyone, it's Clumsy Thomas! <laughs> What's the matter, Thomas? Think you've tried to do another loopy loop? <laughs> or did an elephant get stuck on your line and rubbed its bottom on your face? <laughs> or maybe you were just thinking about how you feel about Nia. You must be a very lucky engine. Thomas and Nia, alone in the shed. K-I-S-S-I-N-G all the engines were laughing so much. But Thomas wasn't laughing. His face was red as James. And then... That's it! I've had enough of all of you making fun of me just because my dream of going around the world came true. All of you don't understand how much I've always wanted to see the whole world. And what do I get in return? Nothing. Why aren't you all happy with what I've done? Well, you know what? Maybe it's best if I never spend time with you ever again. And Thomas raced away from the shed. His friends were shocked. They had never seen Thomas this angry before. And soon enough, the fat controller arrived. What on Sodor is going on? I just saw Thomas race away from the sheds. Sir, I think we made a horrible mistake. We couldn't help ourselves. He was just too happy after he came back from seeing the world. Yeah, and I think we went a bit too far on him. I understand everyone, but for now, I think we need a Norfolk engine to help out with the work. You'll get a good night's rest for now. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Thank you, sir. And with that, all of the engines went to sleep at once. While Thomas was alone in his shed, away from everyone on Sodor. The next morning, Thomas was puffing along the tracks when he saw an engine he had never seen before at the station with two coaches. Hmm, who's this? The engine was a blue Holden B12 class from the L and the R with the numbers 98462 on the side of his cab. Thomas chuffed up beside him. Uh, hello there. I'm Thomas. Have you came from the other railway? Why, of course. I'm Alpha, by the way. I've come to help out since you had a bit of an argument with your friends last night. Really? Yes. Uh, it's being made fun of by your own friends. It's just not fair, is it? I guess not. I thought so. But don't worry. I promise that there'll be nothing to worry about. Trust me. Thomas smiled at his good friend as he whistled and puffed away out of the station. Well, he was very kind. Meanwhile at Nap Station, Gordon, Henry and Edward were feeling very ashamed about what they had done last night, while Percy and Couple needed to rest to Gordon and left. Do you think it's time that we said sorry to Thomas? Indeed, Gordon. I mean, he's nearly a lot older than us. Besides, I want nothing to do against you or you, Rebecca. Hello there. Oh, hello Thomas. We just want to say... Actually, I want to say something first. I just met one of the most nicest engines I've ever seen. I think he might be new around here. Really? Who is that? I think his name is Alfred and... The engines were shocked before Thomas could say anything else. But uh, Alfred? No, no, no! Thomas, don't talk to him! Yes, he is nothing but a monster. What? What's wrong with him? 
Don't you remember what happened when you first came to Sodor? No, what happened? And that was the story Edward told. A long time ago, when you first came to Sodor, besides you, me, Gordon, and Henry, Alfred was a Norfolk engine we used to work with when the North Western Railway was first opened. As we all got to work, we were very impressed with what you could do, but Alfred, on the other hand, was quite jealous of you. Until one day, the Fat Control announced to us that Alfred shall be replaced by you tomorrow, and as you may guess, he was furious. So furious that he was yelling at all of us and stomped off. But that night, he had an airy evil plan indeed. What? What did he want to do? He wanted to blow you up. As you puffed away with a long goods train, with three fuel tankers on the back of the train, Alfred knew his plan was going to work. So what he did was wait for the perfect time to strike and chase right after you without you even knowing. When I saw you stopping at the signal box and you were coupled from the train and went for a drink, and thank goodness you did, Otherwise, Alfred would have destroyed you from there. Alfred was soon in disgrace when he was back on the tracks and your goods train was in pieces. He was sent to the works straight after and had to be sent away for good. So Alfred wanted to destroy me just because he was jealous and thought I was going to replace him? Indeed. Well, you're right, you three. I should be careful. And soon enough, the guard blew his whistle and Gordon huffed away with the express, although Thomas was still not sure who he should trust. That night, Thomas went back to the float in the shed where Diesel and Diesel tended them. Hello, Thomas. I need to see you here without your friends. What do you two want? Oh, nothing. He just wanted to say that Alfred, Alfred, has a little surprise for you tomorrow. Really? Yes, that's what friends are for, right? What kind of surprise would it be? <laughs> oh, Thomas, it's something to die for. <laughs> Hey Thomas, where did all your friends go? Thomas, you alright? Listen, don't you worry, little engine. You had a good run. Show you it's Ivan! Ignore him, Thomas. He's only joking. No, I must find out what's going on. What? Thomas, stop! Come back! No! Oh, Thomas, stop!